How's it going guys? This is Eric back again with a quick little walkthrough um, on how to achieve that Google Pixel look on your LG V20 or any other phone. I've had several people ask me uh, what launcher is that? How'd you get the Google Pixel launcher on your LG V20? Uh, what widget are you using as far as a clock widget? Well, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown on how to achieve that look. Um, this is the Action Launcher 3 and I really have enjoyed this launcher I just started using it I'm coming from Nova I've been using Nova for years and um, I decided to give the action launcher 3 a shot um, now we're gonna go to your Play Store and I'll post some links below just to help you out if you're too lazy to search and we're gonna click uh, action launcher 3 and you're going to click on that. There's a pro version. It's $4.99. Once you download the launcher, it'll give you the option to uh, go pro or plus or whatever you want to call it. You're going to hit download on that. Um, while that's downloading, you're going to go through and you're going to search your pixel on your pixel icons. And uh, I search for pixel icons. The one I have is Pixel Icon Pack Nougat Free UI. It'll have a little N on the icon. I really like this one a lot. Uh, it's free. There's some that are out there that are like $1.99, but it's totally up to you, whichever you prefer. Um, once your launcher finishes downloading, it should prompt you to set default. You're going to want to set the default. Now, when you first open your launcher, it's not going to look like this. You're going to have your app drawer. You're going to have one screen. And when you scroll over to the side, you're going to have all your apps in alphabetical order. It's what they call a quick search. And then you're going to have a search bar up here with your quick search menu so when you switch over to this side you'll have all your apps we're going to show you how to get rid of all of that and you could also add multiple desktops if you would like um, we're going to go to settings and we'll just start from the top uh, quick theme we're going to set it to custom and you're going to set all your backgrounds to white or material light this is totally up to you if you want a dark version you can go for a dark version but we're going to go with all light today and you're going to set everything to white or material light as far as that goes. Click bar, this is that bar I was telling you about. It'll look like that. It gives you a whole bunch of options. It's up to you if you want to keep it. I removed it, just hit none. Uh, we're going to go to display. And this is where you get to choose your icon pack. I have several of them on here. We're going to choose the icon pack that you just downloaded. Uh, screen port screen orientation I have on a portrait I don't like my home screen to um, rotate open animation it gives you different options as far as how your apps open we're gonna go to desktop and this is where you get to set your icon scale I believe the Google Pixel they're really big probably like 105 110 I have mine set 100 I don't like mine too big uh, set your grid size to 5x5 five Screen scroll effect, it gives you different options as far as screen scrolling. You can mess with that to see which one you prefer. Your dock, you're going to have it set at 4. If you have it set at 5, you have an app right in the middle. So when you go to swipe up on your app drawer, you tend to sometimes hit that app. You can also swipe up from here and it'll bring up your app drawer. But when you're down here and you swipe up, there's an app right in the middle. You, you'll tend to hit that sometimes, so I just change it to four. Um, uh, the home screen indicators. You have none, you have dots, and then you have the last one, which is correct, gray, however you want to say it. It's a little arrow. It resembles the one on the Google Pixel. You're going to choose that one. Uh, wallpaper scrolling, you'll have that on. Totally up to you. Go to advanced screen edge shadow. Switch that on. It's up to you. Then next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to folder, quick cut, shutter backgrounds. Um, shutters are this feature that you have on your apps that if you were to have it, there's like a little shutter on the, on the that part to where you swipe up and it'll give you options what to do with that app. Um, you could set like widgets on there to where you open it you swipe up from it and it'll bring up the widget for that app you could download a widget like a messaging widget so you could put it on your your messaging and when you swipe up on your messaging it'll show your messages 
That's I have it set off. I don't really use it. You could play with that if you'd like. It's a really cool feature if you have it set up, but I don't have mine set up to show you. Um, as far as that goes, uh, for the app drawer, remember position. I have to, I like to remember my position um, when I choose an app. Now the style of your app drawer, you have three different options: lollipop, marshmallow, and nougat. You're going to choose nougat. Open via dock swipe. That gives you the option to swipe up to open your your uh, app drawer from your dock. You're going to choose that. You're going to make make sure that is on uh, grid size five by five icons set at 100. Uh, quick drawer uh, letter shortcuts. I'm not sure what that is. That came set by default. Um, shortcuts. Now, if you're coming from a Galaxy phone. You know that if you double tap on your home button, you could open up your camera. This gives you the option to do that. I mean, it's sure it's only from your home screen, but it's still a really, really nice feature. You could set it, you know, as far as any other app you're choosing. But I have mine set to my camera. Uh, gestures, when you swipe up, it'll, single finger, it'll bring up all your apps. Of course, you could set it to do whatever you want. When you swipe down, It'll bring up, bring down your notification shade. You can set that to whatever you want. Um, then you got backup import. You can back up all your settings. You restore. Uh, you could import from your previous launcher if you already have your launcher set up from LG. Uh, you can import it and it'll uh, copy it as close to, as close to possible as far as you know your layout and stuff like that. And you could change that. Uh, as far as that, that's pretty much it for settings. Um, as far as the widgets come, these widgets up here, they come with Action Launcher, your date, and your little Google Pill uh, search widget. So you're going to want to set those up top. You're going to search. Your, you're going to set your Google Pill widget over here, and then you're going to set your date over here. Now this icon this widget is called command center it's a port from the moto z phones it's really nice i like it it's sleek um i'm not going to post a link as far as downloading it but you could search it just search command center uh widget I mean, it should take you to uh xda forums and you should be able to look for it on your own there uh, the other links i'll post for the launcher and the pixel and I'll post those in the links below. And this widget is called Month Widget. It's pretty simple. You have different options as far as themes and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it, guys. This was a quick walkthrough on how to make your phone, LG V20 or any phone, resemble the Google Pixel phone. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.